So I received this parcel and it was absolute chaos because I think it cost me like a just bit over $100. So I was stressing out when it said it had been delivered and no one was at the door and so they left it at the front. And I was like, hold on a second, I don't have a parcel. So I went and had a look at the email to see where they had delivered it. And it said that it had sent it to my neighbor's house. So I took a sneaky peek. <laughs> at their front door to see if it was and in fact there it was sitting there in all its glory and I was dressed like this as a grandma for a Halloween stream so I was stressing out I was already streaming I was like guys what should I do and they said take us with you and do a phone stream and go and pick it up so I knocked on his door and I was like I'm so sorry I got this delivered to the wrong address but I just wanted to show you what this all had in it so this was a parcel from country road and i got bruce some nice dog balls because his dog balls dog balls his dog balls at the moment are a bit chatty this is what he's got at the moment i also got some new tea towels because the tea towels that i'd gotten were falling apart i just got these nice neutral ones the singular one was 12 dollars. i didn't realize how big these tea towels are 35 dollars for the three and such good quality as well nice and thick so this is how they look they're so cute i think they're so adorable and they're so clean looking and chic there's a little dent in this one but i'm not even mad about it i don't, really don't care okay i haven't streamed in a hot minute it's like october now and halloween season is fast approaching for halloween i purchased this new Cloud Beauty, be beautiful, be you. Color gel soak off UV LED, UV LED gel polish. That's it there and I got it from eBay for like $11, which is pretty good for a gel nail polish. And I wanted to get into the spooky season and look kind of cute with my neon green creepy nails. This is how the nails turned out. They were supposed to be neon green and they don't look too bad on the camera right now but they're like a gross, weird yellow. This is what the nails look like under the blue light. Like, see, they're cool, they're funky, they're fresh, they're neon. I don't know, they're just ogre-like and you can see through the nail polish. It's not opaque. But anyway, look, it's gonna have to do because for now I've got yellow. Oh my God, that side's disgusting. Look how dirty they look. I don't know, I'm not about it. On other news, we received this Motor Living fireplace that I ordered online. I'm so excited to open it up and check out what it looks like. I'm kind of freaking out because there's supposed to be a mantelpiece and the electric fireplace together. This is definitely a two-man job and I definitely shouldn't be attempting to do this by myself because Matt's not home. Please hold. Oh my God, it's a box in a box. What is this pass the parcel bullshit? This is the electric fireplace that goes into the mantle, which means that's the mantle, which means it's not put together, which means more work and I'm freaking out. Matt's not going to be happy about having to put something together. And I'm going to want it done this afternoon because I'm so keen to see what it looks like. The guy struggled to get this thing in here. Like it was that heavy. Oh my god, no. There's hinges, there's screws. I'm not about it, sis. There's so many screws. I don't even know how big this thing is, to be honest. You know how hard it is to find a fireplace online? They like don't make these anymore. Oh my god. There's a hundred pieces. Oh no. Matthew, I'm sorry. So that's the color. It's a nice white and it's got these nice vintage details. These things are quite long though. I, I don't, honestly don't even know whereabouts in the house I'm gonna put this fireplace. I always knew that if I owned my own home, I'd want a fireplace and I did not care. Help me, sister. Am I gonna try and be that bitch that tries to put things together without their partner being home? I'm gonna put the base down in the room to see, get an idea of length. Okay, so ideally the fireplace was gonna go in the lounge room, obviously for everyone to enjoy. But if we can't find a nice place for it in the lounge room, then it's gonna have to go here. This is the base that gives me an idea of the width. Okay, I've just emptied out the box and I'm really stressed out and nervous because how big the box is. 
I could literally fit in it. I could use this as a budget coffin. I mean, who cares? I'm going to be dead anyway. We literally just got rid of all the sh** that we ordered online. All the boxes and stuff that everything came in through council cleaner. And I'm literally just now about to top it up. We've literally just emptied out the garage and Matt's going to be pissed off because this is taking up space in his garage again. I mean, it is what it is. Your girl wanted a fireplace. It was going to happen. I don't ask for much in life. Just when he thought he could get a break, he's not. I'm ready to get Matt's reaction. So I know for a fact he's going to be mad. You're not going to be happy. Do we need some more places, Eddie? Yeah, we have to build it. Welcome <laughs> to a new way to stream. Good thing. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I tried to be that bitch and I'm trying to do it like independent because Matt is so tired from work that he's taking a bit of a Bruh. nap on the couch. I'm pretty impressed with myself. So far we haven't needed any power tools, but this is what's looking like so far and I'm full f***ing bobbing it. I'm low key freaking out because there's one panel missing. I think I've accidentally thrown it out. Imagine. Imagine I accidentally thrown it out. I'm so dumb. Guys, are we ready? I decided to do the whole thing on my own. Matt's still asleep and I managed to do it. I managed to put it together and it looks amazing. Don't mind that hole in the back. That's where Matt's installing like light pendants and I cannot wait to paint this wall because it's not a vibe. But let's have a look. Oh my God. And I know it looks like it's off center and it's right by the door, but if we close the door, the TV and the fireplace are actually in line with the middle of the wall. Fingers crossed it works. <gasps> no way. The log effect, excuse me, Bruce, you're in my shot. This is amazing. <gasps> I'm so impressed with myself. I'm gonna try and dress it up a bit. Bruce is vibing already. No, he's looking his Never mind. And I'm also waiting on a new bed frame. I've already got a new mattress and this is going into the guest room. I'm sitting here and I'm dead ass getting emotional because for the past six years, I've wanted to buy my own house and just have a fireplace. I think it's because I just finished my period. I'm, I'm tearing up. I'm like content. Maybe I buy my coffee machine and my life is complete. I think it's the music. The music's hitting it. <laughs> But to get up in the morning, have a cup of coffee, this fireplace is going in my own home. I did it. Let's try and dress this thing up. Okay, I'm not gonna lie right now. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. I'm not really vibing it, but this is all I could really pull from around the house. My dad's friend who owns an antique shop up in Gosford gifted me these two cute cement horses that are kind of like, I don't know how to explain these. Like book stoppers or stands or I don't know, just decoration. And I had that from the old home. So I thought, why not use it on my actual fireplace? And I've got two, so there's a pair. And then this is, oh, I should turn this around. This is an old candle holder. These are a couple of books that I got from the op shop. And I also took this standing plant, snake plant that my mum gifted me that I need to put in a different pot because it's currently in a black pot in a basket. But for now, I feel like this is kind of setting a little mood. Coffee machine next. I'll keep you updated. I know Matt's going to be so mad because I'm going to wake him up from his nap, but I really want to see his reaction. I didn't realize that I left the remote in the box. I had no idea there's a remote. Oh, oh. oh let me see, let me see. Oh. Yeah, I need batteries. 